Hello folks and welcome back to Fallout 4 as always, I am Falcon your host. And we are here at a different place, uh, not too far away from where we last left off, in actual distance. However, this is a very different location that I've been to before. This is the General Atomics, the people who made the robots, like our friend back home. Um, it's their showcase, their showroom, their... their their store, essentially. But all, there's tons of these robots here. Uh, I've already done a little bit here, kind of wandered around, but it's an interesting area, and I really want to start the video here. So we're going to do go ahead and show it off a little bit. Now, this robot that's right in front of me that you can see uh, grayed out here, or, uh, you know, fuzzed out, because we're on the save screen, uh, option screen, escape screen, um, just asked me if I was the supervisor, the new supervisor for the location. And we're in we're in conversation with him now. So go ahead and see where we go from here. Uh, so supervisor. Sorry, what? You're waiting for your supervisor? Unfortunately, yes. If you happen to meet that laggard, let him know that he is two hundred ten years late for his scheduled shift. I need him to report to the director's office in the statue for immediate assignment. In the meantime, I'm afraid the Galleria is closed to the general public. But if you have any questions, I'd be happy to assist you. Uh... Or? Why, why, why are you is closed? the Galleria closed? I'm sorry, but due to pending litigation, I am unable to comment. Please direct your inquiries That's to the concerning. General Atomics Legal Affairs Division. Very concerning. Who's the director? director? General Atomics patented Director Management System... DMS is responsible for coordinating the actions of the robots here at the Galleria. The director allows the Galleria to operate autonomously without the need for human intervention. Hey, then. What is this place? The General Atomics Galleria is the shopping center of tomorrow today. Our wide array of stores are staffed entirely by the General Atomics line of robots, showcasing the reliability and versatility of a robotic workforce. Come in and experience the General Atomics difference. Reliability, huh? I am not so sure. That's all. Very well. Have a nice day. Allow me to demonstrate why I'm not so sure on that one. So. Dog, seriously, chill out. Uh, when I first came up upon this place, I was outside here. Uh, I came down from up there. If you look at the map, there's the plains, the bluff. Uh, I've been checked out these two locations in the meantime. This one was interesting. This had another power armored um, raider who was again armed with a Batman nuclear launcher. He only had one round though, but he fired it at me. And he, um, when I first approached the place, he fired at me and blew me up. But the second time after I reloaded, I approached it from another direction on top of a, um, this is the road here, the broken up highway. I came kind of, like, underneath the highway, so I was on top of some hills, like, on cliffs. Um, and started attacking them from above. Killed all the other raiders with, like, a single grenade, because it landed, like, right in the midst of all of them and blew them all up. and hurt him, too. Um, and he fired his thing, and it... Completely missed, number one, but because I was on a hill, he was firing up, you know, so it arced, it missed me, and ar kept arcing, and just flew, you know, who somewhere behind me, and blew up behind me, so completely missed, and apparently he had no other weapons after that, so he was just trying to punch me and my dog. He had a lot of health, but he wasn't terribly dangerous, so I was able to pretty much, eat, pretty easily kill him. Claimed a couple of additional pieces of armor off of him. And then, down near the Bedford station here, while I was kind of wandering around, I discovered something. There was a train car with a locked area uh, that had that power armor inside of it. And I was able to... I had to go in and take a perk skill in hacking, because it was an advanced terminal that was controlling the lock for it. Uh, and I was able to hack it and open it up and... I myself another power armor suit, uh, which I've been using since then. 
because I don't want to take it back, and it may po prove valuable, so I'm keeping it for now. Uh, but anyway, we were advancing down here, and I jumped into the window here. And there was all these Mr. Handies and robots, the gutsies, which are the military version, apparently, um, all around here. And when I came in, they were all deactivated, and the guy over here who runs the shop, Sprocket, came over and was like, oh, let me do a demonstration for you, and they started to come online, and all the Mr. Handies basically exploded because they are, you know, old and broke. <laughs> and then the Mr. Gutsy that was here came online, and I had to fight it and kill it. It wasn't too hard, but... Uh... Because I was wearing the power armor and everything, so... Uh, you will see. This power armor was incomplete and still missing a leg. And I had to put a helmet and the arm of that Raider power armor that I fought earlier uh, onto this to, you know, at least semi-complete the suit. Um, but this is an interesting area. There's guards. Coming here. Oh. Uh, What's with all the bodies? We do have a lot of satisfied customers, <laughs> don't we? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They almost never leave. I still have one booth left. It'd be my pleasure to serve you. Mm. Oh. I'm looking just for now. Looking around. Let me know if you need anything. Sugar. Sugar. Uh. Uh. Sure. Um. Yeah, they look like they're very satisfied customers. Yes. Um. About that. Very satisfied. Carry on. <laughs> very, very on. <laughs> Who the hell? Oh, none of your, none of your crazy shit, dog. Okay, I don't, I don't have time for you. Ellie bowling. Okay. A lawnmower? This is an interesting looking lawnmower. Assuming that's a lawnmower. Oh, by the way, there are, as you can probably see in the distance there, there are Mirelurks. And I don't think these are softshell Mirelurks. I think these are the probably nastier Mirelurks lurking around this water here, this lake. There was a bunch of them on the left side here, but I don't see any now. Uh, weird water texture there, doing some weird shit. I don't think I want to know. Um, that may or may not be the same one that I ran into earlier, but there were several of them, so there's at least one more lurking around. Now, I could probably lure them back here if they tried to attack me, uh, and get them to fight these guys. This is that laser sniper that I found. It's really better than the other one that I had before. Uh, we have some pretty improved weapons last that we found last time. Our sniper rifle, considerably better than the one we were using. Of that for rapid fire. Our new shotgun, which is does more damage and has a clip in it, so it's basically rapid fire. Our old sniper rifle, just because I got a ton of ammo for it. And the auto pistol we also found last time. Does less damage per shot, but does, uh, you know, it's auto fire, so. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, it's, I I saw. I had to see if he would do it. I had to, I had to. I don't want to be him be mad at me though, so I'm not gonna reload. But I had to, absolutely had to, had to be done. Apparently that didn't count. Now if I do something with that that you can't see, will you freak out? Just like the things on the shelves and stuff that you 
don't take kindly to me messing with. Touch anything. Okay there, friend. You're a bit of a nutso. Fine. I, I don't think I want to touch any of your stuff. To be honest. Um. Are you aware you had? You know what? Never mind. Let's forget it. Did I said anything? Don't think I want to know. You don't have anything really interesting in this place. Oh. Oh, you're actually following me around. Keep an eye on me, I guess. Make sure I don't touch anything. We have anything for me to touch that I would care about, so... I don't really think you have to worry too much about me touching something. Nothing of interest. So tempted to throw something around in there. Twelve. Huh? What now? Please take a number for faster service. Thirteen. Number thirteen. Okay. Take now tar serving fourteen. Be there a while. Oh, that one. That's like really long. Does anyone have 15? Get out of my kitchen! Number 16. 16. Oh, okay. 17. You don't care about back there? A little like it. Let's be just be. Let's just keep repeating these numbers endlessly over and over and over. Miss twenty two. Out, 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 Someone will be with you shortly. Let's try this again. Oh. Number twelve. I'll be back. This would protect you in the short term. What do you expect to do? Yo, no. uh, food. Uh huh. Go on. Sixteen. Seventeen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Do what happens. You are the pride of General Atomics. Oh, eighteen. Carry on. Nineteen. Uh huh. Go on. Further. What we got? 20. 20. Go on. A little bit more. 22. Anyone? Really? Someone will be with you shortly. Really? You just stop at 20. Let's try this again. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Not gonna get anywhere. Ever. Apparently. Be on the lookout for me. I said anything. And communists. Howdy now. Come on in. I want to. Really? Welcome. I don't think I do. Oh. Gas here. Not cause any what explosions. Just coffee today. Um, is that else? all you've got? I'd offer you some of our world famous donuts, but I'm afraid they went stale a few weeks ago. Pretty much everything else has, too, come to think of it. 
So, the coffee's about all that's left. Can I get you some? It only went stale a few weeks ago. Probably get that looked at. Gas leak? Is there a gas leak in here? Uh, yes. I put in a work order about, oh, 50 years ago. They certainly are taking their time with it, aren't they? <laughs> well, no harm done, I suppose. Now, how about that coffee? Not if you're a robot, but oh, okay. Sure. Coming right up. Here at Slocum's Joe, all of our coffee is heated to a perfect 200, 100, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. You might want to stand back. I'm to leave. <laughs> I'm gonna take like serious offense to what I'm doing in here. I am about to uh, wreck one of your number. You guys didn't. You guys didn't get get mad at that. But we're all good. We're all good. Oh god, dog. Dog, quit, quit your whining. We'll be fine. I don't want the rest of that. <laughs> Why I was like, oh, time to leave. He's about to use his flamethrower and blow himself up. Call the police! Report okay. suspicious behavior to the director immediately! So apparently, you guys don't care about your people fighting me or anything. Did you have any other questions? Um. They said that you have to go to the statue. Uh oh. The director oh. has sanctioned the use of lethal force against looters. Oh. I'll uh, come back. Look we'll around out here in the last yes, building. Yes, you! Don't be shy. Step into the ring. See if you can last a round against the champ. The world's greatest boxing instructor. Remember, you are the prime of General I think you want me to punch him to death. So, uh, let me get in my patented punch to death suit. <laughs> hey, I need to be punched to death. The gallery is closed by order of the director. And I... I unequip. Yeah, there we go. Save. Let's see what happens. Go on, get in a ring. Have to. No sales until the match is over. Really? Okay. Well, I wrecked some dudes. You know, I'm kind of cheating. You, know, you guys know that, right? Like seriously cheating. I'm talking like a little cheating here. Right. Put him up. Put him up. Dude, and you don't. Unhandled don't. exception in boxing module. Lethal protocols engaged. Round Bye. Fight. Let's, let's, let's. Fight. The play. The play. We'll use that pull out lethal. I'll pull out lethal. Oh god. I don't even know help. They're all attacking me. That's the guy who's trying to kill me. Hey. At least I resorted to some degree of fairness. I didn't pull out my gun. Gave you guys a chance. Could have pulled out guns and started blasting and slaughtered you all without any of you trying. I wonder if these are legitimately way this much. Try it. I think they do. 
I think it does. Hilarious. Uh, no, not, not, not. Need. Assume it's a miscellaneous thing? No, guess not. Junk? Junk. Yep, legitimately 160 pounds and a hell of a lot of lead. That's... I need lead, I know where to come. Find the lead for days. <laughs> Find all the lead you could ever want. Okay. I will take it. A bunch of other stuff that I don't care about. I have the, uh, oh, I do. I also took a st uh, skill point in advanced in lockpicking so that I could open some better doors. Because I will certainly need that sooner or later. So I figured. Probably should go for it. Ah. Alright. Let's see. Let's. Okay. Wouldn't be it. That wouldn't be it. That wouldn't be it. That would be no. Yeah, it could be. Okay, so it's E A, maybe. That. Ooh, but we only have one thing left. Probably not worth it. I don't want to risk uh, failing it. A name. Those are the same, so it wouldn't be it. Potentially be it, so it's not the A that's the same. Be it. Could be. Definitely the E at the end, I think. Most likely, anyway. Who knows? Possible that not. Ops is definitely not it. Case, because then it would have two letters the same. E. Just bear and could be Dan's. No, couldn't be Dan's. A N. No, we already know the A is wrong, so it's not that. E? And possibly that it's the E. Got it. That. Yep. Current promotions. Two stores are reporting errors. Well, your supervisor is not present. Active. Local operators to offer manager sales with a sole discretion. Start a manager sale. Find employees. So what that actually did. Okay. Ridiculous. No, the manager sale provision is built into the franchise agreement of the gallery is run entirely by robots. There is no manager. Why are we wasting development time and functionality that will never be used? <laughs> somebody might break in and decide to use it, even though everyone is dead. So I don't really know why I would bother. Didn't piss off anyone out here, did it? Standard operating procedures must be authorized by the director. I'm not quite. Okay, let's go talk to this director dude. I could stay in my suit. In fact, I think I will, just in case they freak out and try to uh, 
hurtleate me again. You may not want to stand there, dog. That, like, seriously. Hey, I want to stand there. Oh my! I was not expecting that one. Right, maggot. Step forward slowly. Maggot, huh? <laughs> the fuck? The hell happened to you? I don't think I want to know. Hold it right there. I've been monitoring your approach. Impressive. Very impressive. For a low-life criminal. Uh, what? I'm reporting it. As ordered. Reporting in? Wait, the grand reopening? Are you grand reopening Supervisor 18 Alpha? You're late. Yeah. Yes. Yes, that's right. Manual authorization of the grand reopening requires authentication. So I'm going to need to see your ID. Sir. Uh, not gonna manage that one. Wait, manual activation? Is there any other kind? Irrelevant. Now awaiting manual activation. Please present your employee ID. Uh-oh. What ID? Uh, Explanation issued. This is a threat. Present your ID! Oh, uh, okay. I do not have the stats for this one. Dropped mm, it somewhere. I dropped it. Could we let this slide? Analyzing vocal patterns. Confidence interval 12%. Deception suspected. The Galleria is closed. You are warned. Kill them all. Like them well now. I do not have the stats for this one, apparently. Okay, we'll reload here. Uh, I didn't really get anything of terrible interest out of the, um... Out of these guys. In fact, they damaged my armor, so I will. We'll uh, go with what we got, but I will come back here at some point when I have some higher stats, and we'll see what we can do. Interesting though. Definitely need some good uh, persuasion advantage. Talk to that guy though. Okay. Interesting in here. Back alley bowling. Step right this way and I'll get you all set up. Okay. Bowl, just five thousand dollars a game. <laughs> Do you take caps? caps? Bottle caps? Of course not. Legal tender only. It was gonna walk away. Back me now, aren't you? Suppose you have some vast quantity of, uh, let's explore real quick before we, uh... I will reload here, but I want to look around. Great many of you. Terrible idea if I didn't have power armor on. The guys who resorted to violence, I was just looking around. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment while I, uh... <laughs> yeah, two things are the same. Oh, by the way, yeah, the things get much more difficult um, as you progress. One thing is the same. Finding two that's the same, actually, in the first one is pretty good. Because that will make it much simpler to find. Um... Correct one, because there's most likely not going to be too many things that will satisfy two being correct. Evidence by the fact that I've looked through the majority of these and have yet to find any of them. That doesn't satisfy two of them being Just one. Only one, actually. Yep, so it has to be spires. Okay, it's not. I uh, missed up. I missed something. A okay, brutal hot. There's the same. Listen. 
Edge. S on the end, that's it. And that it. Yeah. And less things are different than I thought, unless it's counting. Anything that has alike things that are alike. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't. Fires is not right. Fuck. I'm unfused? Why? Let's uh, take eight out of there. Oh, there's a lot of you guys. Look oh, guys. I'm not, I'm not trying to fight you all. I'm just trying to explore. I, 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 don't, I don't have no time for you. Holy shit, there's a lot of you. <laughs> Look, look, okay, look. Ch chill out, alright. Chill, chill out, guys, okay? Seriously. Chill out. Arm yourselves. I'm just exploring. Dog, oh, quit your whining. Oh, I'm looking back here. Ooh. Safe. I wonder if there's uh, sufficient money in the safe. At this point, I'm just kind of exploring to see what anything we find. No money at all in the safe. Okay, well then. Horribly, horribly unhelpful. So you realize you're like right in front of me and you could attack me at any moment. So that takes some much work, I guess? Those are really bad at trying to kill me. Say it. So that our power armor is super OP, which it probably is. But. Probably is. In fact, we pretty much have already seen that it is super OP because we've uh, messed with it before, and we can definitely just kind of stand around and take some serious punishment without even really noticing. Oh, a lot. Excuse me. I'm curious if they will follow me outside. Let's find out. The science. Oh yeah, definitely follow me outside. Okay, well, reload. Alright, so I don't have a whole lot of anything that I can really do here then. Don't have a whole lot else that we can really do here, so let's uh, let's progress. Let's continue onward toward my original objective, which was the Green Top Nursery, because we have a quest to go handle their stuff. Uh, let me real quick. I need to check the time. Ooh, are actually past. Uh, time that I wanted to make this episode, but that's okay. Because we didn't do anything super, super exciting other than battle with some robots that we reset because I want to come back to there when I have a chance to actually, um, uh, more properly interact with them. But in order to do that, it appears I need better, uh, charisma and persuasion, so properly. 
be a... Assuming that's like a factory symbol, the thing there. This is awful small to be some sort of factory, but, but doesn't mean it isn't. Mass fusion containment shed. Radiation, but we are in the power armor, which does mostly negate radiation. So, not that big a deal. I think we do take some limited radiation effects, but not very much because our have a lot of ammo for it. Running behind me, so I was like, whoop! Uh, nope, I do. So we can't get up there. The only door that I've seen is on the other side, back here. here. A lot of radioactive. Oh my! You're like the super rad road. Oh, oh hi there. Have some flames. Enjoy. Oh! Oh, I got you. Talk it. Oh yeah, this is definitely a place that I need the armor, because there's so much radiation stuff around here. Okay, now this kind of door, this is the same kind of door that was guarding the uh, suit. You need to find the computer that goes to it, uh, which this wire will lead you to the computer, there somewhere. Uh, we'll check that out in a minute, but you need to find the computer to open it because there is no other way to open it. Uh, which was why I needed the um, computer skill because I wanted to claim the second suit of power armor because that would be cool. Um, the basic frames are very hard to come by, although you do find the pieces of armor relatively often, the actual frames not easy to locate, so when I saw another one, I was like, oh yes, please. Give me, give me, give me. Hey, broken. Whole lot of nothing. How much did I need? 5,000? Or was it 500? For the, uh, the one thing. Bowling ring. Goes out to that area that go because it broke. Sure. Oh. Okay. Right, got tons of body pins. Don't really care that much. Nice. Not that big a deal. Good corn. That's what I always wanted. Ash tray cigarettes. That I've always been so super excited about in my life. But it's just a uh, novice one. So we should be able to do this without too much difficulty. I wonder if the um, advanced ones add like rules or something, because with this, like you're looking at the same letter, if it says likeness that means it's the same um, all the letters and their positioning are the, you know, the same, what you're looking for. Like, none of these things are the same with the such. So all these ones that have U as the first letter, we can throw them out immediately, because they are not going to work. Okay. So it does have... Um, 
an E is the second letter, or something as pressed. Mean works. With does not work because none of those are the same. That one will work. Tune. Whatever. Uh, that one's definitely not right. That one's not right. Eat is not right. Has the T on the end. True would not be right because it doesn't have any of the, the stuff that rest does. Here could be false. Let's try mean. Let's just on that one. Cool. Okay. Third four days of being attacked accident free. Lester tripped behind the forklift while it was backing up. Now we're back to zero. Also, Corbett made us pull up all the remember your hard hat posters. Like that would have saved his life. He died. Ooh. When you retreat, it's coming up in a couple of weeks. Mrs. Mr. Field said it's mandatory for all employees, especially supervisors. I hate going to those things. It's bad enough having to deal with these people during the week, and I have to pretend to like them for a whole weekend. I'm saying envy Lester. <laughs> As this material inspector stopped in today, announced to check out our operation. I started to feel like he was getting suspicious of what was actually being go going on around here. I told Mr. Field, he said if the inspector started catching on, we needed to get rid of him, and he didn't mean to ask him to go away. Well, he caught on, so we had to get rid of him. If anyone finds out what we did, they'll put me away for life. That's all. Ooh, excuse me. That's all right because uh, uh, the dude, the world ended. So I'm gonna open the door so we can go check it out. Ooh, hoping for. Oh. oh. Okay. Not what I wanted. <laughs> You got one to close the door, thanks. So that could be mildly useful at some Magic. future point if I am being chased by a friggin' Deathclaw or something, you know, we could run all the way back here and um, jump in. That I think, because of that. They're relatively rare and potentially very valuable uh, crafting component. As is gasoline, or the gas cans actually, and antifreeze also could be useful. Something in here that. You dog, I don't care. Ha! Ah, here's what we're looking for. Okay, there has to be one of these in here somewhere. Sure, that's. Basically, the entire point of being in here. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hmm. I see. Oh. Him. Fight two. Pipe revolver pistol. Eh. Take care. Get out of here because this is quite a bit of radiation. Standing around in it, even in the power armor, is probably not a good idea. Hi. Excuse you for living. You had like a smoke cloud behind you or something. Don't say, what the hell is your problem? But no, no, you don't. Probably a good thing because uh, that would be bad. Okay, so they are pumping radioactive waste, from the looks of it, into the water supply. It's probably what that inspector found and why they had to get rid of him. can't imagine people take kindly to that. It's like another set settlement to the left there. We have the one that we're trying to go to in the right directly in front of us, but looks like there's another settlement. M with that. 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 Oh, different. Yeah, it may well be. Well, let's go over here and finish up our quest. 
before we venture off some other place. Bugs there. I don't think I want to mess with them because I get anything out of it. No reason to mess with them unless I get something for it. I don't think we will, so it's not. Under the impression that there were some raiders here? The gun we have a lot of ammo for. Hi guys, you are on the outskirts of some sort of town. Has a hospital, M, whatever the hell that is, and a couple hospital places up there. Interesting. Fruit. Lots of mute fruit. Throw enough mute fruit here to feed an army. Pfizer. Oh. Hey there. You don't actually speak. No trouble here. I hope you can help. Uh huh. And... One thing you should know, stranger: don't mess with that old insane asylum. Huh. Even the raiders know better. Oh, okay. <laughs> Crops been growing pretty good lately. You have nothing to tell me. Okay, you're, you're useless. Did the Minutemen send you? Aye. Of course. of course. Just tell me what you need help with. There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Any idea, Any idea how many? Idea how many raiders we're talking about? No telling, I'm afraid. This time there were three, but who knows how many are back at their base. So it could be like a million of them, what you're telling me. How helpful of you. Another like two person operation, like not gonna prove any like long term use to me because. Enough of you. Prove any sort of long term. How I did this, what the hell is this? Station. What's up here, Art? Can't do that while in power armor. Well, that's fine. What I can do, apparently, is leave stuff here, which is good because I have a lot of things that I want to drop off. Although, maybe not. Maybe not. We are in the power armor right now. We need to use the power armor for the time being. And even though it does obviously pretty thoroughly negate uh, pretty much all enemy Horses. It's good and bad. It's a little too easy. But at the same time. I'm curious that you guys elected to put your sleeping bags outside the house. They're very, very strange. I want to do some crafting because I have some things to craft. I'm here a little bit of my inventory space. Allied to the settlement, that's fine. I'm well aware, thanks. What this does do is clear up a little bit of the inventory space and give me more healing items, which is important. Okay, now. Once again, you're sending me for off on some grand adventure. Insane Asylum, Hugo's Hole, and which horrors. Okay, well, I think um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, folks. I think I'm going to... question. I can't, okay. I wanted to see if it was possible to uh, uh, store stuff on the armor, but looks like that's a no. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to look into the town over here and see what there is. I may actually record it, and that may be the next episode if there's something interesting. If not, then the next episode will be us doing this quest. Oh, the quest marker even is... Oh, there it is. Um, so I will see you folks then. 
please uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Thank you for watching, and take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye. See you folks.